The euro tried to gain ground in early trade on Tuesday but failed to weigh down by gloomy data on business climate and uh, current conditions from Germany. Later, the asset extended weakness hitting a new one-week low, pressured uh, by upbeat statistics on U.S. consumer confidence. Nevertheless, the euro managed to recoup losses and stabilize. Meanwhile, the British pound did not reach a fresh low, indicating bulls' strong intention to regain control of the market. Its further dynamics now depend on the U.S. Federal Reserve's interest rate decision and comments on the future of the monetary policy. Today's macroeconomic calendar includes data on loans to households and uh, the annual growth rate on the M3 measure of money supply in the euro area. However, uh, these reports are unlikely to have a severe impact on Europe's single currency. Traders may take notice of U.S. and new home sales. This is an important gog of the health of the state's economy, which may indicate whether the economy is sliding into a recession or keeps rolling along, along despite rising interest rates. The focus of traders will be on the Fed's monetary policy decision and John Powell's speech at a press conference. Many market participants are betting that the Fed will deliver a final 25 basis point interest rate increase to 5.5% and then hold rates steady for the rest of 2023. In this case, the U.S. dollar is expected to lose value with the risky assets, stock indices, as well as cryptocurrencies gaining strong upside momentum. If the regulator hikes rates but signals that further monetary steps are up to macroeconomic indicators, this will add to market uncertainty and probably hurt risky assets. And now let's move on to technical analysis. As for the euro dollar pair, a fold breakout at 1.1066 will create a sell signal. However, the euro is unlikely to drop significantly. At most, it may slide by 25 30 pips. Thus, the best way is to put off going short until the price reaches the level of 1.1106 or enter the market on a rebound at 1.1146, counting on an intraday correction of 30-35 pips. If the price consolidates above 1.1066 or dips and forms a false breakout at 1.1024, a buy signal will be generated. Supported by dovish remarks by Fed officials, the euro will have a chance of jumping to 1.1106 and probably 1.1146. Alternatively, if policymakers leave comments puzzling investors, the euro will most likely edge lower to 1.1024. Its breakout will open the way to 1.0981 and even 1.0946. At these levels, I recommend going long. Speaking of the British pound, it seems to be turning around towards the upside if the price stays firm above 1.2906 buyed by the US central bank's dovish stance, sterling could surge to 1.2960. After all, uh, traders realize that the Bank of England will keep uh, will likely keep monetary policy tight for the rest of the year. Thus, a difference in policy approaches between major central Central banks will be in favor of the British currency, provided that the UK economy is more or less stable. If the price breaks above 1.2960, it will probably rise to 1.3032. At this mark, it would be a wise decision to go short on a rebound, trying to catch an intraday correction of 35-40 pips. Short positions at 1.2960 and 1.2906 can be considered only a middle false breakout. In this case, the middle of the sideways range at 1.2851 can be seen as a target. A false breakout at this level will make it possible to open long positions. As an alternative, traders may go long on a rebound at 1.2803. 
in a bear case scenario if the price falls below this mark the british pound will extend losses as sliding to 1.2717 and uh, 1.2675 therefore bulls need to make every effort to take the lead at the levels of 1.2754 and 1.2717 best of luck